Welcome to Long Time No Play Gotcha, the sport for the NES. And I know in pretty much every Long Time No Play I say, oh, it's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> well, and so that phrase gets overused in each one of my Long Time No Play videos. But this is probably a game of all the Long Time No Play videos I've done. This is definitely the game that I have the, probably the most vaguest. Is that, is that a word? The most vague <laughs> memory about most vague memories about is this game right here. I probably played it like maybe five or ten minutes back in like 1988 or 89 with a group of friends. So yeah, and this is the kind of game we use a light gun. And in my case, I'm using uh, my mouse. And so yeah, I picked beginner here because man, it's <laughs> I better pick beginner or I would get pwned because yeah don't know much about this game at all. I do remember this scenery right here. And you go around shooting guys. Uh, I guess it's like a paintball, paintball thing. And the object is to capture their flag and bring it back to your base. But you gotta watch out because the enemy will capture your flag and bring it back to their base and you gotta shoot them in order to stop that from happening. Let's see, well, you grab the flag by sh shooting it. And there we go. Now I gotta go back to my base. And then this level will be complete. Yeah, so um, I haven't heard much about this game over the years. But so far, I mean, I'm really liking it. This is, the, this is what I thought Hogan's Alley was supposed to be. If you remember, I did, I think it was last year, I did a long time no play of Hogan's Alley. And I thought it was supposed to be something like this. Well, I was wrong. All you do in that game is shoot targets. Which is not bad, it's decent fun, especially for back then, for its time, but this is what I wanted to play. I mean, you know, I love Duck Hunt, and I did play this vaguely back then. This is what I'm talking about right here, shooting enemies. And, uh... There you go, so that's the end of, uh, level one. I'm not sure how many levels there were. Uh, it might be infinite, kind of like in Burger Time or Tag Team Wrestling, where you keep on going until you just break the score barrier or, or until you lose. So here's a second level where I guess we're playing Double Dragon now. So this time you're shooting thugs. Oh man, what's this E-SWAT for the NES? Watch out. It's those little things that shoot on the ground or, or uh, ammo or energy. Or not energy, because I think I think one hit and you're dead. Because you know, gotcha. One hit and paintball, and that you're out. I, mean, I don't know much about paintball. I never really played it, but I assume that's what you do. Okay, now you notice on the little map up there, my yellow flag is moving. That means the enemy has my flag. Now I gotta watch out for him and shoot him so I can stop him. Now I got their flag. Now I gotta watch out. What the heck? Shoot him! Ah, dang it, they got me. Okay, now I have uh, two more lives, so I'm going to continue where I left off. I'm about to cross paths with the guy that has my flag. Where you at, you little booger? There he is. Get him. What? Ooh, gotcha. <laughs> you can tell this is on beginner because I can probably just scroll through this level and they'll never shoot me. If it was on intermediate or more uh, advanced, I would have probably been been killed by now. We're well, not killed. This is, you know what I mean. This is a sport paintball, I, I assume, so you don't get killed, but you lose. That's the end of level two. Alright, round three. Oh shoot, the snowfield. Contra snowfield now. Or the Himalayas from DuckTales. Also reminds me of the that snow level in Ninja Turtles 2 for the NES. Hey, yeah, I mean, right, right here it would be easy for me just to scroll, walk through everything, but... That'd be boring. I want to shoot stuff.
like the music for the stage. Fits it perfectly. Come on. Ooh. I'm gonna get the flag. Oh, come on, you can't shoot them as they're running? Or was I just missing? Okay, watch out, that snowman might be an undercover enemy. That level was easier than the second one, because I got killed in the second one. <laughs> Round four. What? Oh man, there's only three levels? That's kind of lame. Man, come on. At least make eight or something. So I guess this is where the game loops. So, I mean, I guess then that's where you see what's the highest score you can get, what's the highest round you can reach. And, of course, I assume the highest round you can reach is 99, and the highest score is 99999. Nine, 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 nine. Throwing 999. Not Come on, really? There we go. Alright, the enemy's got my flag, but I'm about to get his, too, so... Come on, I'm shooting that guy. I got the flag. Where you at? There you are. Probably starting to get harder even though some beginner. Come here. Boom. Gotcha, get my flag back. Get the ammo. Come on. Boom. He's saying boom. Like I hit him with something that makes a boom sound. Alright. Round four clear. Right back to the ghetto streets again. I wonder if this is what Streets of Rage would look like if it was 8-bit for the NES. Streets of Rage was 8-bit. Because it was actually on, I think on, it, yeah, it was on the Master System. Streets of Rage 1 and 2, I think. Oh, what? Oh, come on, man. You saw that. I was shooting that guy. Look at that. <laughs> they got me again. Come on, man. I guess I got to shoot him in the chest only. It's kind of dumb. Right, here we go again. Oh, got him. Ah, come on. There we go. Now I got to watch out for the guy that has my flag. What? Okay, 
guess we're in New York. I believe that's the Empire State Building back there. This will be Target Renegade, the light gun version. I bet we got would love that. I think we got did a 8-bit stereo of this game. I think. Shameless plug. I'm just gonna well, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say I was gonna run straight to the flag. I could have I could finish could have finished already right there, but I like shooting people. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the last one right here because it's getting repetitive, nothing else to really show. I just wanted to play this for a little bit longer, starting to get into it. Oh, come on. Wait for those blue bombs or what I call the Echo Drugs bombs from Contra from the snowfield to come from the background and start being thrown at me. I'm probably thinking, what the heck, Echo Drugs bombs? Are you on drugs, Ronnie? Well... Yeah. Oh, and because of that, I got shot in the head. I still got like six lives. Wow. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, almost got shot right there. I was gonna say get killed. You don't really get killed. This is just a paintball game. You're not getting killed. You just lose. Because remember, as ABGN said, nobody ever dies in it to know they either turn to an item or float away. <laughs> or they just lose, quote unquote. Alright, here we go. Come on, get him. Ooh, got him. I like the track in the stage right here. Fits the cold atmosphere. Now come on, man. Come on, hit detection. Let's go. I see better run, but he stopped and right front right from me like an idiot. This could be the 8 bit version of the snow levels in Goldeneye. <laughs> Imagine Goldeneye for the NES. That'd be pretty cool. See you, or as, Lin or as Linda Truth would say, I see you. Points for reference. All right. So right here is where I'm going to stop, and yeah. So my final thoughts for this game. Um, to look at the box art right there. Get them before they get you. Sounds like something Skip Rogers would say. But anyway, yeah, this is a pretty fun game for a light gun game. It came out in, what, I forgot, 87, 88. Um, like I said, I had vague memories of it. But I did enjoy it, uh, playing it this time around. And so, yeah, even though it only had three levels, it should at least have maybe, I don't know, eight or whatever more environments. Only three, it was kind of lame, but not a bad light gun game. Better than Hogan's Alley, better than Duck Hunt. So, yeah, I mean, not a bad game. For a light gun game for its time, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. So I strongly recommend you check it out. And so that is it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.